And in our top business story, the fall in Dubai property values and rents is set to continue over the summer despite some predictions that the market has bottomed out. In its latest research note, FIDA Advisory said that since Dubai rents peaked in May 2014, the market had declined by an average of 0.3 percent. However, in May, the monthly rent decline widened to 1.3 percent. The research note went on to state that in a down cycle, the lowest advertised rent is particularly sensitive to market shifts and can be an indicator of market trends. The advisory added that by the beginning of June, the lower limits of asked rents decreased by 4.1 percent compared to the same week of the previous month, which it described as a significant monthly decrease. FIDA said that although less than 20,000 residential units had been completed over the past year, giving some stability to the market, anecdotal evidence pointing to a pattern of redundancies and slowed job growth as a result of the impact of the oil price and tighter regional liquidity, might be beginning to take their toll. FIDA also said that the oversupply in Dubai's residential market was expected to remain until 2019. The firm said that apartment rents had dropped by 1.5% during the first half of the second quarter, while sales fell by 3%. Villa rents declined by 3.2%, although prices remained stable. The Emirates Nuclear Energy Corporation has announced contracts with UAE-based companies totaling more than 11 billion dirhams for the construction of the country's first nuclear energy plant. More than 1,400 UAE-based companies have now been contracted for the delivery of products and services for the Baraka plant, currently under construction in the western region of Abu Dhabi. According to a statement from ENEC, the level of engagement further facilitates the development of a local nuclear energy industry and also contributes to the development of the greater economy and stimulates the growth of heavy industry in the UAE. NX Chief Executive Officer Mohammed Al Hamadi stated that Emirati companies are now contributing to the construction of the nuclear plant at Baraka and also gaining a competitive advantage in providing nuclear quality services and materials worldwide. Al Hamadi added that a major factor in the UAE's decision to pursue a peaceful nuclear energy program was the opportunity to develop and enhance the nation's budding industrial sector and provide a diverse range of opportunities for talented Emiratis. The contracts have been awarded over the past six years through collaboration between ENEC, the entity responsible for the construction and operation of the plant, and Korea Electric Power Corporation, ENEC's prime contractor. The project at Baraka is progressing steadily. Unit 1 is now more than 87% complete, while overall construction of Units 1 to 4 is now more than 65% complete. When the four reactors are completed, the UAE's peaceful nuclear energy program will provide approximately 25% of the UAE's electricity needs and save up to 12 million tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions each year. A new report by Invesco titled Global Sovereign Asset Management Study has revealed that sovereign investor confidence in the Middle East remains stable despite challenging economic conditions. The global study was unveiled during a roundtable discussion in Dubai hosted by Invesco, where senior officials from the company outlined the key findings in the fourth annual report. The report looks at complex investment behaviour of sovereign wealth funds and central banks and was conducted through interviews with 77 entities with a total of $8.96 trillion worth of assets, 10 of which were from the Middle East. Among the key findings of the report included steady investor confidence in the region at 7.3 in 2016, as well as discrimination within emerging markets, as despite continued interest in India, the sovereigns are moving to more towards the United States, largely due to favorable policies related to the real estate sector. In the Middle East and region, real estate has become a primary target for the regional sovereign allocations and is growing faster than private equity and infrastructure. While lower returns have impacted global investment and liquidity sovereigns with confidence based on performance dropping from 8.4 in 2014 to 7.7 .7 this year, confidence in aggregate capability has risen from 7.4 to 7.8 during the same period. According to the spokesperson, the study reinforces the view that sovereign investors are better prepared to cope with volatility and funding challenges and they continue seeking a strategic asset allocation opportunities. What we've seen in the report very clearly is that sovereigns are mindful of the political and policy challenge uh, environment that government set. 
We see this this year in the data coming through, particularly with regard to emerging markets and where uh, they've, they're finding um, Brazil, Russia, China, places like that less attractive. Now, there's obviously an investment perspective to that, but we're also picking up from a sovereign attractiveness nature that they're finding the, the policy and the governance environments important. The flip side of that is we're seeing the US become you know, more positive, if you like, and they made some taxation changes towards overseas investment funds uh, last year around real estate, and that's been very clearly picked up by sovereigns. So there is a message there for governments that sovereigns are mindful of the political and policy environments and do pick up on that. In terms of, I guess, Brexit specifically, the data that we, we the research was done really January, February before Brexit really came to the fore. So it's, it's difficult to, to attribute anything directly within the data. But I think the message is there that sovereigns will watch closely what the political and policy environment is and react accordingly. Online retailer Souk.com has found that a combination of reduced work hours and the celebratory atmosphere during the holy month of Ramadan has consumers in the Middle East spending more time online than they normally do. Last year, Souk.com witnessed significant growth in m-commerce and app purchases during Ramadan, reiterating that mobile devices are used more often than any other device in the region, especially during Ramadan. Online traffic in the UAE was at its peak between 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., whereas in Saudi Arabia it was particularly high during 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Some of the most popular search topics during Ramadan in 2014 and 15 using Google data reveals that online deals and Ramadan promotions were what consumers were mainly searching for. While consumer electronics were leading the way in terms of sales during Ramadan in 2015, Souk.com also experienced an increase in the number of lifestyle products sold especially via its mobile app. This trend was emphasized more towards the last week of Ramadan when consumers are looking for Eid al-Fitr gifts. Google data also reported a peak in search interest for perfumes and celebratory clothes for the holidays. In addition to purchasing gifts for family and friends, it is estimated that spending on food items will also rise significantly during Ramadan in the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Egypt.